two stocks to one on the last game versus Didi, but Didi just got random up tilt combos, started killing him. <laughs> Bunch of TNT, back airs, you know. Yeah, this Steve character really is, is scary. Yeah, I, I, you, you've heard this before, but I feel like this character does not play Smash in the traditional sense at all. So you have to be prepared. You have to have the experience going in to understand what this character is doing. Yeah. Uh, Fatality, definitely, I'm not going to say he hasn't played against Steve because he's definitely played against Fallen in a couple of sets. Mm -hmm. um, but Didi, definitely a different kind of Steve out here. And uh, I'm excited to see how he stacks up against Fatality once again. How For Fatality sure. makes adjustments. Immediately a little bit of building camping, uh, just trying to trying to get your blocks in. Uh, I know Didi does indeed love... <laughs> Why did he take 50 from that? What the hell was that? What? What was that? I anyway, what is Steve, as they say? Right. <laughs> uh, no disrespect to Didi, obviously. Oh, Very none talented. At all. He's in fact like innovating, you know? Yeah, extremely innovative. It's just, you know, we we, we Georgia is not used to Steve yet. We haven't seen any of this technology, especially at the caliber and the level that DDD is showing us right now. Yeah, Georgia, we, we we really do have a lot of innovators. We have we we had Rap innovate the Camp Sonic and Smash course. 4 at MomoCon premiering. Uh, we had we really had Hyper innovating Roy in Smash 4, one of the only boys to ever do it. Oh yeah, for sure. And then uh, of course Fatality as well, innovating oh, the of course. Of the game. Uh, from uh, darn near the beginning. Now we have another young prodigy, Didi. <laughs> oh yeah, a lot of folks, we got a nickname here, Salt 1 2.0. The, the appearance is uncanny, right? Like, oh my <laughs> god, you looked like six years ago at Salt 1. Yeah. A quick like down air knee yeah, from cool. Fatality too, even out the stocks. Uh, a quick combo from Didi though could spell. Oh, or, or you know, a minecart into a, an anvil. Like I, I don't know where that 60 came from, man. But uh, right now, Fatality doing his best to try to keep up with it to get any combo starters that he can. Not pushing the blocks too heavily. Definitely being careful about jumping over it and uh, going on top of Steve, where you know Steve has some pretty good anti air, so you have to be very careful about it. Oof. Ooh, that back air, uh, allowing yeah. DD to definitely hurts quite a bit. We see again patience and noticing. Okay, good recognition there from Fatality. Yeah, noticing I, that the mine or I'm sorry, it's the toolbox. It's a crafting table. Crafting table. Thank you. Crafting table came out and was immediately on DD for trying to pull. Oh my God, that read. That read came like Fatality is so fast with this stuff. The oh my God. Two seconds. That was insane, but. DD could very easily even this out, although that did get rid of his diamond, um, which is pretty major for kill power. Oh yeah, and Steve, not really with the best materials right now, has a lot of dirt, um, a little bit of wood, and not a lot Not of a lot of iron, that's gonna limit the number of mine carts that you can do out of the corner, which Fatality is very well aware of. Almost getting the downer read on oh, DD, yeah, and that's yeah. gonna be a stop. Yeah, that, Fatality's that, gonna take game one. I almost wanna call this calls that call that a forced SD on um, DD. I, I think he did flip the recovery there a little bit, but I'm not sure if there was a right angle for DD to go at without getting hit by that Falcon down here. Uh, so good stuff to Griffin, just adding on to the pressure that he needed to and uh, securing the game. So one major thing I do want to point out too is uh, Steve's stage source against Steve is very, very significant. Um, there's a lot of little things here that I didn't know personally until like literally yesterday about Steve and where you need to go in terms of his shovels, pickaxe, and other things. Uh, now I am curious about is uh, why does he uh, Steve want small battlefields? Is there anything in particular, or does he think it's a comfort pick? Uh, part of it is those platforms, right? You can you can build you can build two blocks on the left of that platform or on the right of the other platform, and you can really just camp it because platforms are so sticky in this game. Getting past them can be a little difficult. Fatality obviously was able to last game, but Vendetta, as you could see, and Wrath even yesterday, they they had a lot more trouble. Yeah, definitely had a. That a knee. Over it. Steve was so short. He was like laying down on the ground, and Fatality still perfectly timed and hit that knee. Right. I think that was literally the frame that Steve stood up when Fatality was just there to hit it. I, I just you don't expect to get hit there, but you know Fatality, he has the timing for that down. Yeah. Uh, you looking for some space here, looking to try to make whatever materials you can to get back into the game. But right now, Fatality is absolutely against Mother again. I think that's been the name of the game today against characters that you know generally want to play to keep out game. Don't let them get their materials. Don't let them get set up. Don't let them do anything. Oh my god. Didi, Didi's playing neutral pretty well oh. here, but Fatality is just one step ahead. Oh yeah. Didi's not out of this by any means, but Fatality with momentum is so scary. One of the few players, I think, in this tournament who can rival, like, Didi and Kolo's punish game is Fatality. Right. Oh, man, the setup. Uh, okay, I, I don't know if there's really any options there, but it's smart on Fatality's part to just take the hit because 
the the counterplay is you want to time a get up attack or a ledge get up in general with oh my god he went deep he for that, that and he made it back Jesus. DD very well aware of how far is Steve's Electra go, but uh, in terms of counterplay versus the TNT, uh, Cola and Vendetta tend to time their get-up attacks as a read on uh, when DD activates the lava. Right. Because you can't really react, right? Yeah, but... it's hard to. Oh, I see. Ooh, oh, I was... Oh, no. Uh, I was expecting either, like, blockage or a right. spike. But, but we are going to... Oh! I'm sorry, Ty. I was not trying to kill you here, Zayu. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wrist trapping is making me... I, I, I'm just like, wow. Nah, I'm going crazy. Don't yeah. worry. Uh-oh. What is this? What is this? Okay. Almost getting the, the Legend Invincibility. See right there? Fatality's able to go right through it, but... Yeah, he's being extremely smart about his spots when it comes to... Oh, no. Couldn't get away there. Okay, that's going to do it. That's going to do it. He's yep. being extremely smart about seeing the box, recognizing when he should or should not challenge it. Like, sometimes he's breaking him, sometimes he's just jumping over and grabbing Steve immediately. Not really giving DD a clear read on what he's going to do exactly. Oh my god, the block extension! Oh my god, getting the jump with the Nair! DD had a very real chance there to get an up tilt combo, but Fatality just shutting yeah, it down. Fatality actually using the block himself to extend that string ever so slightly longer to get that final nair to clip Didi at 83 and actually closing out the stock. He landed on the block <laughs> to get his double jump. Oh, that <laughs> awareness is absolutely insane. I, I that was phenomenal insane. play here. <laughs> All right, and again, we see the pressure coming out here and just immediate 46, 46 from just yeah. jumping into the stage. Like, he, why does that look? It looks so non-threatening. It looks so harmless, but then you touch it and then it just explode. But Fatality, oh of course, God. returning the favor immediately. Like, wow, what, what, what is this gameplay? If there's something that I can say just in general about Georgia after this year and a half as far as top level play, making mistakes now is, hurts. I know. Hurts. It, it, it hurts, hurts so much. Uh, just against any any of the top eight players here today, it, it's just any mistake hurts. It takes so much damage from any kind of little neutral exchange, especially like you saw there in that last game. Yeah. Fatality using that extension and taking the stock very early. And Fatality up 2-0. Um, Didi's going to switch to Pokemon Trainer. The Steve hasn't quite worked out, but... Um... Yeah, this is not a bad idea in my opinion. Um, Pokemon Trainer, I have heard uh, on record from some other park, uh, top PTs. Um, that particular, I remember mentioning this. This is not a bad matchup at all for PT. Definitely think it's a winning matchup for PT. Um, not sure yeah, why, Squirtle, but so far he's kind of showing me. There's a, there's a few parts of this matchup that can be really frustrating for Falcon, and the, 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 the name of the game really is Squirtle, right? right? Squirtle can go under a lot of Falcon stuff. It's hard for Falcon to combo, I say, as <laughs> Fatality gets 55%. Right. Um, and that that's... No oh, he's he's way. He's fine, he's fine, he's fine. Not quite. Oh, Fatality not hitting the down air. It is guaranteed if Charizard hits that side uh, the stage to get a down air, but right. GD's Charizard's going to have to put in work here. Yeah, still getting... Tons of, okay, in position that, that time. That was so it. long. But anyway, as I was saying, Squirtle's hard for Falcon to hit and has a really good punish game on Falcon, and that immediate switch to Ivysaur to sort of downer fatality can really hurt Falcon's feelings. Right. Okay, and we see Frank is best to steal some sort of momentum oh back. Oh my quick god. Oh, that's definitely going to be the way to do it. He's oh, no. very fast movement. Oh, oh no. no, and it's, and it's. Oh no, oh no, okay. But we okay. have an instant switch. Uh, Still in the blender right now. The pressure, not necessarily alleviated, just kind of shifted from one Pokemon to the next. Oh my god. Oh, okay, we dash attack. I thought Almost we had some back. going, uh, but DD able to make it back into the stage with a with a small switch. Uh, DD is switching a lot in these high pressure situations. <laughs> yeah, and I think it actually is working in these situations where, oh, that's terrifying. Okay, not on Ivy, so it doesn't have to worry about the down areas back. Um, but yeah. he absolutely alleviating some of this pressure um, because Fatality is really, really big on 50 50 in certain situations. Looking for the footstool, yes. Yep, getting gets the footstool it. and Charizard there. And we're back on Squirtle. All right. Yeah. Falcon can definitely manage versus the other two Pokemon a lot better. Obviously, Charizard is combo food, so Squirtle is usually your best option unless you're trying to kill. Yes, yeah, super, super hard to hit, but cannot take too many hits to themselves. Bot dodging the Vaptor boost? Question mark? <laughs> I, hey, I mean, it's a, it's a oh man. Not staying on stage and down airing Falcon, even though that would be a very viable option. Yeah, I think Didi's just trying to figure out how he can get off the corner. Oh my and god, and that Razor Leaf barely clipping Fatality. We're staying there for a second. Oh yeah, and this is how it starts. 
One air and up smash. But SDI? Out. Uh, you can't SDI the move, but I'm not sure if you yeah, can that's actually what I thought. Yeah, that's a weird footstool right there, but... Uh, nonetheless, DD still converting on this situation right now. 68%. Um, but a mean Falcon down are gonna get gripped in the stage control pack. Oh, up he barely whiffing right there. Oh man. Oh my oh, god, no. he is patient. The stare down. Okay, I'm I'm so terrified for DD. He keeps doing these nears all yeah. night. Because you know what Fatality loves to do. He's I going know. to get under your up smash. Um, but right now holding advantage is Oh DD. Fatality able to air dodge to the ledge. And is that that's not gonna be the kill quite yet. DD is still has another chance. He's got his back. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. We're fine. Don't we'll get up. Uh oh. No. 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 Yeah. No, yeah. That's, that's what that's I thought. Satisfying. That's what I thought. Oh. oh DD, DD unable to make it back.